Hey, do you know anything about the Industrial Revolution? Only about the success of the steam engine and how it powered things like trains, ships, and factories. Hey, my neighbor has a steam engine. Could you tell me how it works? Absolutely. The water is boiled to develop steamy pressure, which pushes a piston or a turbine to create mechanical energy. How is the water boiled? The water is boiled in a separate combustion chamber by heat that comes from burning fuel sources such as gas, coal, or oil. That heat can also be provided from things such as nuclear power, solar, geothermal, or biofuels, but those are much less common. So that's why I've seen coal on trains. Exactly. How does the whole pressure thing work? The water vapor expands into pipes and forces itself against a piston or a turbine. This motion creates mechanical energy where a piston can be connected to a crankshaft internal wheel and with a turbine can be converted to electrical energy. Wow, who would have thought that steam could run an engine, right? Actually, that would be Thomas Savory, but who's keeping track? Oh, okay, okay, settle down. Am I exhausting you with all this knowledge? No way. Speaking of exhaust, where does all the steam go? And how does a piston look when it's being pushed by steam? Well, <clears throat> this diagram from the internet shows that the water boils here in the fire and then becomes steam and travels through the valve and voila, the pistons pump. This, this picture shows the exhaust and actually there are steam engines that allow for the steam to push on both sides of the piston in a reciprocating motion. Well, that's efficient. Actually, original steam engines had an efficiency of less than 1%. Luckily, they're generally now more than 30% efficiency. That's a big improvement. So do you understand a little bit more about steam engines? I think so. Let's hear it then. So basically, a steam engine uses a fuel source to boil water until it is pressurized enough to push a piston or a turbine. Once it gets to that point, whatever the vapor is pushing on exerts mechanical energy. It can end there, or that mechanical energy can be converted into electrical. Perfect! Hey. <laughs>